Hey, hi, in this video, I will show you how to create an AI agent with using Amazon Bedrock, which can perform an action and the action with using AWS Lambda. So here is our um, Amazon Bedrock service. Uh, within that service, we're going to create an agent. Uh, within the agent, we're going to create an action group and we create action with using Lambda, that is AWS Lambda. So when we create that kind of agent, and the prompt engineer tries to interact with that, um, you know, the bedrock based agent, it will perform a certain actions. The action that is being written in um, uh, AWS Lambda, like uploading a file into the Amazon S3 bucket and getting the response as soon as possible uh, on the same prompt. So for example, if I type um, saying like upload the JSON file with this content, and then the action is being performed by the agent by using the action definition that is defined in the backend. And it will automatically send a response saying like, hey, I have uploaded this file into this particular S3 bucket. This is the file that I've created. So such kind of automation are uh, the such kind of um, agentic AI, uh, uh, you know, the configuration I'm going to show you in this uh, video stay, uh, you know, focused here. Now I'm in my AWS account. So this is, uh, we are currently in the Oregon region. Um, here is the way you know, we're going to create an um, agent or build an agent by using UI. So I'm not doing any magic here. So this is the Amazon Bedrock um, and we are in the build and we are in the agent service. So I have already created this um, demo AI agent, which I'm going to show you how to create it, uh, but we're going to use the same agent. So to create an agent, you can click on create agent. Uh, give a name and then um, you know give some descriptions and if, if it is uh, multi-agent collaborations which is the part i'm not covering in this video i'm going to cover it in the next video so far now we are just creating a single agent um, service that is um, right and click on a create that's it so once you click on a create you know you can open that agent which would look something like this so the configuration of that particular agent looked like this okay so this is very simple as you see this is it has aliases versions everything so here uh, you need to do a couple of things first set the context of the agent by uh, click on a edit agent configuration when you click on a edit agent configuration so there are like a two options manual or assistant so here we are using the manual one so this is the name we gave our uh, descriptions here is the agent resource role okay so nothing but i am role that agent can use it so this is the basically use the existing role. So I had a service role, service IM role uh, with a name like Amazon Bedrock Execution. So I'm going to show you that. So this is the um, IM service role, or basically IM role, uh, which is being used for my agent. So I'm going to show you this one. So this is the IM role uh, we created, and I have given some full access. By the way, you can control the access based on that. And then in the trust relationship, you see that this this is um, this IAM role is trusted by bedrock.amazon, Amazon, Amazon uh, AWS.com service, right? So um, you know this is basically one statement we have created, which is uh, shows that you know, this is trusted by that services, and action allowed is STS as in role. Um, you know there are the conditions. Basically, this is a trust relationship uh, that IAM role has and the permissions. So we go back to the same again agent um, that is Amazon agent uh, and, uh, you know um, service space. So the, here here we are uh, we using that IAM role and select the model. So here you can select the model that can power um, the uh, uh, Amazon Bedrock agent. So in my case, so I'm using Anthropic. So in the Anthropic, we are using the Cloud Three Dot Five Sonnet one. For now, the um, agents are supported by these two uh, serverless model providers. But down the line, you, know, you can build your own model and can power your own agent as well. So that is also an option. So far now we are using the built-in uh, foundation model given from Anthropic and the name is Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. So that is what we are using the select the model. And this is a very interesting thing. So here you need to instruct the agent. Okay, so without this instruction statement, the agent is blind, okay. So that's the reason I have given some instruction. You can give a lot of instructions here up to like, a, uh, you know, like whose instructions can be given so that based on the instruction, the agent assumes that kind of activity and performs or basically helps you in the prompt. So here I have, I have, you know, I want to make this agent as an, um, you know, uh, 
basically IT Azure cloud infrastructure except and you will be helping me on the questions on the cloud so I have just given that kind of uh, you know the uh, instructions right and that is basically a bare minimum configuration of um, AI agent okay now with this you know setup I'm gonna go back and we'll come back for the actions that is the second part of the I you know the demo here so with this configuration your agent is ready you can test it basically so if I click on a test and try to say some ask some question you know say like explain me um, the Azure APIM service so if I this is basically you know very um, uh, very specific or niche questions related to the uh, Azure let's see if it has responded properly so if I show the details right here you go so it has responded me uh, properly because we have set the context uh, of the agent in a proper manner so that's the reason it is responding so basically with this uh, configuration our agent is performing the basic prompt activity now that is not enough we want to do something beyond that so what is something beyond that with the agentic ai is actions now you can configure the actions uh, in your agents to configure the actions in your agent again go and click on edit actions basically edit your agent so when you edit their agent you know that is where uh, there is an option called action groups so here you can create an action group there you can manage the memory uh, you can configure the knowledge base guardrails orchestration strategy multi-agent collaborations a lot of things are there uh, within that for now we are exploring the action group nothing but nothing but you know enabling the agent to perform an action what is action that is to integrate with the uh, aws lambda to perform certain actions so here you have to create an action group what is action group means you know it's nothing but collection of activities that agent can perform so i am creating an action group by click on add um, just give your uh, name give you the description so here is the action types remember these action types meet a lot into the what you write in a aws lambda code so in my this video i'm using define with a function details when you choose this option uh, the aws lambda handler should return a certain things in a certain pattern so i have that uh, you know the schema of returning um, in my source code i'm going to share that source code in the video's description you can use it from from your side and build your aws lambda according to that so here is the option we are using and then action group you see that action group is nothing but here we are using select an existing lambda so i assume that you have the aws lambda ready for it so in that case you can use it so in my case i have a lot of aws lambda been written so i'm using this upload json to s3 okay so i have chosen that lambda and so this is nothing but you know your action group information so action group as i said is nothing but it's a collection of function activities so here you have to perform uh, you know you have to keep adding the actions belongs to your actions group so let me call it as this as an f2 that is nothing but action two. So and give the description like test descriptions and enable the confirmations uh, of the action group optional which is basically you know you keep it as a enabled and then the parameter so parameter is nothing but you know, when you invoke the um, aws lambda as part of the action um, you can also have the parameter being passed it in the sense hey invoke that lambda with this parameter which is basically enterprise standard so you can also add the parameters here like when you click on a parameter so here is options comes in picture so say consider like uh, consider like file name right and the description say like file right and then the type what is the parameter type it, it supports these many types like a string integer boolean and array so you can choose array or string like that and the required equal to make it as a false or true based on your requirements so with this set you know just click on a create it will create an action group or action group something like this so this is how i integrated the aws lambda in my agent so that it can perform a job for me right for now i have disabled the memory knowledge base is not there which we're going to cover it in the next um, you know the uh, part of the video so nothing but you know next um, versions of this video all right so with that said you know we have done the configurations on the agent side so i'm going to go back to the agent now before i do you the demo i'm going to show you the code source code so this is my aws lambda so another tab i have opened is belongs to my aws account only we are in uh, oregon region you see here the lambda which we pointed uh, you know as part of the demo is nothing but this lambda that is upload json file right so there are a couple of things you have to uh, configure on this lambda so that this lambda gets invoked by uh, you know amazon bedrock agent so what is that is first one is configurations so in configuration make sure that your uh, lambda 
uh, you know the lambda rule has a proper uh, you know the access so that it can perform the job that you written in the code first thing the second thing is you know you go to the resource based policy statement so this is something configuration you have to add in so that you are authorizing this service to be invoked by amazon bedrock agent so to configure that you can click on a add permission here click on choose the aws services in this one there are no services for now so you can go for others and then give the statement id like test statement id right and the principal name should be that is uh, something like um, uh, you know this one so if you go here so there is an ar and you see that so that is nothing but um, uh, nothing but this one this is basically uh, aws dot bedrock.com something like that so that is something you have to add it here which we're going to show you what we have added i forgot that so if you go here there is a, a principal name called bedrock dot um amazon aws.com so you can use this so i'm going to go back to the add permission so we did that we went to the uh, aws services and click on uh, others uh, statement id something like this principal name is bedrock dot amazon aws.com um, source ar is nothing but you know your uh, agent ar and that you can find it from here so this is the source ar and you have to configure there and then action in the action you know you use invoke lambda so lambda um, invoke so i'm going to go to the this one that is uh, lambda dot invoke function and click on a save so once you do that basically this is what the resource based policy statement will be there right and uh, with that said you know so this is something that you have to configure on the aws lambda then we go to the code part which is something like i'm going to walk you through the very quickly anyways no worries i gonna share this template of code in my videos description or this video's description you can find it from there and try to use it let's try to walk through the code and then we're gonna go to the demo part so this is something like a very simple aws lambda uh, schema lambda code schema our runtime is python so this is the schema that you have to follow it has the import library and it has this function that is if uh, uh, you know the function name called definition aws underscore handler so this is a keyword function that you you have to have uh, with a certain uh, parameter being event and context so this is the source code here and uh, you know it will receive the you know i believe that you guys are expert here so here is the way you know you're going to receive the event which is event passed by amazon bedrock agent right and from the event you know we are extracting these many data right and just printing that what i am doing is you know so i am just collecting the some information from that event and converting that event into a json file and loading into the amazon s3 bucket that is a simple action we are performing so here is the source code which does that i'm going to quickly pass on here is where i'm creating a file name right the file name has been generated and here is where we are using the boto3 client so my boto3 client is being created above so um here is where we are dynamically creating the boto3 client and uploading an object here so this is where um, you know this is where it is happening it's a single line code which will upload the an object to the s3 bucket which is a json file and then this is the important part which i wanted to show you as part of the code walkthrough so the here is a two activity one it receives the event extract the information convert into a json file and uploads into the amazon s3 bucket with using the boto3 client now once the upload activities happen successfully um you need to respond it the response should be in a such a way that the agent receives it properly and gives the response properly in the prompt that is very important that's the reason you have to create create you know basically create a response body something like this so there is a response body dictionary and that contains a key called text and it contains the value something like this that is nothing but you are constructing that uh, response body like file is uploaded and this is the file name i have created and the function response the function response contains the action group function uh, and then the function response the response has been integrated here the final uh, function response would be something like this that is it contains a message version uh, response uh, session attributes uh, prompt session attributes right so everything is this is a final response and the final response would do something look like this so basically all together the returns should be in this format you know the format made with this three context right and finally you are converting into uh, basically finally you are converting into final response which is a dictionary right and that is what we are constructing and returning in this lambda similarly if there are any any through or are any you know basically if there is any any exception uh, while running the code so it will construct in the same format by using this the three uh, format and returning that error response here so this code i'm going to share you uh, in the video's description you can find it 
right so with that this is how basically you construct the uh, the function of your action group of belongs to uh, amazon bedrock agent so with that said we're going to go back to the uh, you know the agent and before i show you that so in this code you might have observed that our bucket name is something like this so if i show you so this is my bucket name i'm going to show you that bucket as well so this is where my bucket is so i went to the amazon s3 bucket and uh, you know the general purpose bucket and uh, this is our bucket the first one is my bucket and here is where you know we're going to see like if the file gets uploaded or not when we do a prompt engineering from my agent so with that said you know here let me start uh, you know testing the this code and uh, let's see if the get file gets uploaded so we're going to open that agent and try to explore from the prompt only so let me tell you know hi i will call him like hi we are doing the youtube right so i'm going to give youtube video uh, demo um where um so let's see you know what it is responding so it says uh, something yeah where where i am demoing you so i'm giving very nice uh, you know the um, you know response to it let's see what it responds so i see that you are demonstrating my capabilities which is basically extremely good right now i want to uh, you know i want to test it so here here i want to test the action uh, action function action group uh, we should call it as action group okay so that it understand what you are talking action group uh, function that is f1 f1 uh, invocation so here i will share just i'm just asking here i want to test the action group so it says that you know um, are you sure that you want to run the action that is function uh, i will say like yes oh, i don't want to i will say deny for now because we don't we are not passing the parameter right so i will say deny and then you see that it is for deny also it is giving the response right and then here is what let me call it so so here so my parameter parameter is something like this so let me uh, call it as something like a i'm just preparing a dictionary here so that is nothing but uh, a value equal to b uh, comma c value equal to um, comma equal to d right and then comma e value equal to f right um, so likewise so this is just a so my parameter is this one i will just give that a response and it will if you see this response right it will ask you hey you want to invoke a, a function within the action group called f1 and the parameter that you are passing me is this one then if i say confirm it will try to do the job so when it uh, when i say confirm what does that mean is agent has invoked that response and you know looks like it says in a great i have successfully invoked this one and uh, you see that the function with the parameter have been provided the result shows that there is optional of op the operation was successful and the file name called this was uploaded so let's try to see if this file is created in the amazon s3 bucket and it has done the job so if i go back to this one and try to find that file so right so i'm just finding the file which is given by agent here you go the file is just now got created at uh, just a second back and do you want to check the what is its contents i'm going to show you that so content is something that uh, you know we have um, you know we have provided right so i'm going to open that json file here in front of you and here you go so whatever we have added into the uh, into the prompt you know that is what it exactly uploaded into the uh, into this amazon s3 bucket which is done through the agent so this is what basically called as a agentic ai you know and you can uh, basically wrap your agent with a certain action group that can perform actions um, you know during the using of your agent as well so so with that note i have shown you the things need to be shown in this video from scratch to end we're going to cover up the next part of the uh, uh, you know the agentic ai into the next video so hope that you like my video please do subscribe my channel and also uh, like the button so that it gets viral thank you for watching my videos and uh, see you in the next video